Fuel filtration in your Duramax is crucial when it comes to keeping your truck's fuel system running strong and reliable. That's why today we'll be showing you how to install a simple and effective way to help protect your truck. So unlock the toolbox and dust off the jack stands. It's time for another XDP install. The XDP Duramax CAT adapter with 1R-0750 filter, bleeder, and spacer is the go-to filtration system we use on our GMs here in the shop and install is fairly straightforward. It comes with everything you need to protect your 2001 to 2016 6.6 .6 liter Duramax's fuel system from harmful contaminants. In order to make things a little easier on ourselves, we've opted to remove the wheel and wheel well. This isn't a mandatory step, but it can make things easier and give you a better line of vision during install. If equipped, disconnect the factory fuel heater wire found on top of the fuel filter head. Unplug your water in filter, also referred to as the whiff sensor, located at the bottom of your factory filter. This sensor can be saved or thrown away, but either way, we won't need it for reinstallation. Don't worry, the removal of the whiff will not trigger a check engine light. Next, we'll drain and remove the factory fuel filter. Using a 12 millimeter wrench, disconnect the factory fuel filter head by removing the two bolts securing the filter head to the mounting bracket. In 2011 to 2016 applications, you'll remove the bolt locking the coolant tube to the fuel filter bracket. Remove the two bolts above the fuel filter bracket locking the black bracket to the engine. This allows for clearance when installing the longer bolts later in the installation process. Install the adapter nipple o-ring to the cat filter adapter using a small amount of clean engine oil to lubricate it. Install the internal adapter o-ring on the inside of the black anodized cat filter adapter and install the larger adapter to the filter head o-ring in its groove on top of the anodized cat filter adapter. Be sure to lubricate the o-rings with a small amount of clean engine oil. Remove the factory o-ring around the check ball nipple under the factory filter housing as this may cause fitment or priming issues once the XDP cat filter adapter is installed. Thread the cat filter adapter onto the factory filter head and tighten until fully seated against the filter head. If you feel any abnormal resistance or experience issues threading the adapter onto the filter head, do not force tighten the adapter and the filter together. Doing so may damage the filter or adapter. Inspect the adapter to be sure you have a seal around the mating surface of the filter head. Reattach the filter head assembly using a half inch wrench, the supplied filter head spacer, and filter head spacer bolts. 2001 to 2010 applications will use the 30 millimeter spacer bolts, and 2011 to 2016 applications will use the larger 45 millimeter bolts. If equipped, reconnect the factory fuel heater wire. Lubricate the seal on the CAT 1R-0750 filter and install it to the CAT filter adapter, making sure it's tight. Replace the factory plastic air bleeder screw with a new aluminum bleeder screw with O-ring. Once tight, prime the filter by depressing the priming pump four to five times and loosen the bleeder screw to bleed off any air in the system. You may have to do this a few times until the air is completely purged from the system. Now we're ready for the all important step of starting the engine. Fire up your Duramax, checking to make sure there are no issues. If you're having issues holding a prime, Reinspect the adapter and filter mating surfaces to ensure they're tight and lubricated, making a good seal. Now what? Get on the road and drive. But we do suggest if you're using this as your primary fuel filter to replace it every 10,000 miles. If this is a secondary fuel filter, replacing it after 50,000 miles is suggested. Keep your fuel system clean and Duramax running smooth with the XDP CAT fuel filter adapter. Get one for your truck at xdp.com or contact your local dealer.